This just does not look good. Hi again everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. So this video is a bit of a look at just how dire things are with the struggling big box retailer Bed Bath Beyond, ticket symbol BBBY. In this video, I want to try and paint a picture of just literally how dire the company situation is at the moment, as well as speculate a little about what will happen to its stock, the company, and you know possible future stock price movements. Uh, so while many of you may be familiar with the company, I still think it's important to explore a little bit of a brief financial and operational history of the company from recent years, uh, just to really get this point across. So Bed Bath Beyond, which truly was once a household name around the world, famous for its wide variety of products and unbeatable prices. Uh, however, in recent years, the company has really struggled to keep up with the likes of, say, Walmart, Amazon, and Target. Uh, the company failed to renovate stores, refresh its products, and expand its e-commerce presence, which has led to a significant decline in its stock. And it seems that it is now in a position where the company of its size, with its constrained resources, is no longer agile enough to get to a position to be anywhere near competitive with any of these big rivals. So over the past 12 months, BBBY stocks has plummeted by over 80% as its chances for survival have increasingly diminished with every passing quarter. The company has not grown its annual revenue or posted annual profit since fiscal year 2017, which ended in March 2018. Um, so this is pre-pandemic. It has not been posting profit for years before the pandemic slowdown. In fiscal 2021, it generated 7.9 billion sales and racked up a net loss of $560 million. So unfortunately, the company's financial situation is not looking any better. Analysts expected sales to decline by 30% to $5.5 billion in fiscal year 2022, and its net loss to be more than double to $1.3 billion. However, its rapid deterioration over the past few quarters suggests that those forecasts could still be too high. Um, it could be much worse, so we'll have to wait and see how this pans out. Uh, the struggling retailer ended fiscal 2022's third quarter with just $153 million in cash and cash equivalents, which represents a 70% decline from a year earlier. Uh, meanwhile, its long-term debt rose by 64% to $1.94 billion, most of that debt comes from $1.2 billion in senior unsecured notes, which are split into three tranches that mature in 2024, 2034, and 2044. Bed Bath Beyond pays the interest on those notes semi-annually on the 1st of February and the 1st of August every year, and very recently missed it on some of those payments. In addition to its long-term debt, uh, the company also owes $550 million under an asset-backed loan to JP Morgan Chase and $375 million to 6th Street following the expansion of its credit facility last August. All of that leverage could make it nearly impossible for the company to secure fresh financing at reasonable rates as interest rates continue to rise um, and also the perceived risk of the company is going up. Uh, so it just becomes more expensive. So if you have been following the company closely, you would know that uh, these payments have been missed on some of these facilities recently. So it's not looking good. So what are the best and worst outcomes for BBBY stock? Well, I think at this point, the best possible outcome for Bed Bath Beyond is technically a buyout. Um, its investors would get some cash or new stock for their shares and its creditors could, I suppose, be the sigh of relief as another company takes on its debt. Whether or not it can service that or not is another question. But on that point, uh, an acquisition doesn't seem likely as Bed Bath Beyond's enterprise value, which includes its debts and other liabilities, hovers at around $3.9 billion. So this is kind of what a company would pay to buy out the company. Uh, so it's a lot higher than the market capitalization. It wouldn't be a smart move for a large retailer to step in at this point. And what I mean by this, a large retailer wouldn't step in to acquire Bed Bath Beyond at this point because its market capitalization is too low um, and, and much lower than its enterprise value, like we just said. And this level of leverage makes it nearly impossible for the company to secure fresh financing at reasonable rates as interest rates continue to rise. Additionally, the company has been struggling to keep pace with other retailers like Amazon, Walmart, and Target, and has failed to renovate stores, refresh its products, and expand its e-commerce presence. Uh, this combined with its financial predicament makes it really a risky investment for any large retailer or investor to you know, acquire the company in its whole state. Um, however, another option is a potential sale of Bye Bye Baby, and this one's been talked about a little bit. Uh, 
its infant-oriented banner, which has been growing faster than its namesake stores, uh, the chain could fetch, they I guess, they approximate three to $400 million in a sale. Uh, but this is not guaranteed that the company will stay solvent for more than a few quarters if such a sale is made. Uh, such a move is really just buying the company time. Although in terms of acting in the best interest of shareholders, this is perhaps the most likely move. It's like you are in a boat that is taking on water through several holes. However, you could use your oars to block some of the holes uh, to slow the sinking of the boat. However, by doing so, you would be stop. You would stop paddling to shore. I suppose you could say. Uh, just a bad analogy, I suppose. Anyway, uh, Bed Bath Beyond's other remaining options aren't too appealing either. It can continue to cut costs with more layoffs and store closures, uh, try to raise cash and with more debt and stock offerings, or finally file for bankruptcy protection to restructure its debt. Um, in the latter event, all of its shareholders and unsecured debt holders would likely be wiped out. However, in all of these situations, there's likely not going to be anyone willing to fund any such debt or equity instruments. Uh, how bankruptcy could potentially happen. Uh, where will Bed Bath Beyond be by the end of the year? Well, that is difficult to say for certain. The future of the company looks uncertain at best and bleak at worst. With a history of struggling to keep up with its competitors, the company has failed to grow its revenue and post a profit since fiscal 2017. The situation has only gotten worse in recent years with analysts expecting a decline in sales and a significant increase in losses for fiscal 2022. So that means the company's balance sheet is extremely leveraged with long-term debt of $1.94 billion, including $1.2 billion in senior unsecured notes. Being unsecured, they attract a high interest rate. Uh, the best outcome for BBUI would be a buyout, but that seems unlikely given its market capitalization versus its enterprise value. Other options include a potential sale of Bye Bye Baby, cutting costs, raising cash, or filing for bankruptcy protection. Given these factors, it may be wise to stay away from Bed Bath Beyond stock. While some may see a potential opportunity in a stock with such a low market capitalization, the risks definitely far outweigh the rewards, um, in my opinion, especially given the company's dire financial predicament and the limited options it has for longer term survival. It is possible that Bed Bath Beyond will become another victim of the ongoing retail apocalypse, uh, just like Sears and JC Painty a few years back. Uh, while the stock has some retail interest uh, and there is the tantalizing possibility of a short squeeze push, any such move is likely to be very short term and obviously highly risky. With the information we have, it's impossible to predict with certainty what will happen to the company in the next 12 months, but it is likely that it will not be a smooth road ahead and possibly we may be seeing the end of the road for this once household retail giant that is Bed Bath Beyond. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on the whole Bed Bath Beyond saga at the moment. Uh, do you see the company lasting beyond 12 months? Are you one that is holding out hope uh, for one last short squeeze rally? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, everyone, may the markets trade in your favour. Cheers.